Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, we made it, y'all. We have made it yeah. to the winter finale, well, fall finale. Fall finale. Of Empire. <sighs> <laughs> On a serious note, <clears throat> last week's episode could have been this episode and yeah. I would have been totally fine with that. Yeah, I totally agree totally with that. Totally fine with that. I totally agree with that. So with that said, thank you all for that blah, 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 blah. Thank you all <laughs> that have stuck in there with us this entire season. Indeed. I actually thought the Empire was going to be different this season, but it was Oh, it was different. But a different the way we won't expect it to be Exactly. Different. Yeah. So thank you all. And all the new subscribers, because y'all been coming in like I don't know what. So thank you and welcome over here. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to let y'all know this, because we don't know when the next time we will upload on this channel, because all of our shows are on break. Yeah. So what you can do if you just want to keep in touch with us and you want to keep on seeing our faces, we do have a vlogging channel, which is actually our main channel, yeah. Life With Us TV. And guess what? For the month of God doing December... We upload every freaking day because we're well, on at this. At least the first 25 days. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? <laughs> we're on this Vlogmas challenge where you have yeah. to vlog. Yeah, come see us, man. Every day in December. Yeah, come on. So come on in. through. Say hello. Say hi. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah, and we might even go live over there every now and then. We might. We, we might. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. Yeah. So with that said, had it from my father. Now understand the title. Yeah. I don't about had it from my, my father. father. Run it. Run it. I'm telling you to run it. Run it. I'm telling you to run it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for this today. So we picked back up last week where all of us were getting ready to have a heart attack. Cabela had this gun that was bigger than her. And we could have sworn that she was going to pull that trigger because she was looking like she was fitting to shoot her somebody. Or she herself. Thought, yeah, she was going to take a body out of this world. And that it could have been Hakeem. Like I said, it could have been him. It could have been him. And I would have been fine with that. But Hakeem um, thought on his on his freaking toes and started singing uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and distracted her and got the gun. I was like, whoo. Yeah. That was the most that, intense episode. Oh, man. Yeah, like you said, last week, that could have been the cliffhanger right there because mm -hmm. everybody was wondering, did somebody die? Uh, yeah, I couldn't even imagine seeing one of my little nieces holding a goddamn gun. Mm -mm. I, I I probably would pause. I, Hakeem better than me. I don't even know what I would have done. You know, when crises hit like that, you do stuff that you don't think you were able to, that you would ever be able to do. Yeah, true that, true that. And so, then we see Cookie and Lucius got them in a counseling session. It was them. <laughs> Hakeem and got doing Tiana got them in a counseling session. Freaking Cookie telling Tiana, you know what? You may need to cut your losses. You may need to move on. Hakeem just might not be ready for you right now. Maybe in the future, when he grow up, he might be ready for what you need him to be. But you do you. But you do you. Let him do him. You, and then he got Lucius on the other side. Was like, son, you need to get your skit together. You know, That's I've been for Lulu. yeah. I've been packing since I think we say what six twelve. Twelve. <laughs> I've been packing since I was twelve, but I had to pack for the lifestyle that me and your mama was living. And the, the, the famous line that parents say is, "I lived that lifestyle so, so that you didn't have to." And That's kind of like, true to a certain extent, but you don't know what your kids are gonna grow up to be and what they're gonna choose to do. But I do like what Lucia said. We did a whole lot of skidding. We exposed our kids to a whole lot. Yeah. But he told Hakeem, he said, listen, everybody in this family has a body <laughs> under their belt. Got except blood on their hands. Except for you. Yeah. Quit your skit. You ain't about this life. You too rich for this bull skit. Yeah. Get you don't need to do it. You, yeah, we ain't in the ghetto. So you don't need to be. But we know that all stemmed from Blake's father shooting him. That's what all that stemmed from. So he all of a sudden, he, he the freaking military now. So, but anyway. So yeah, they both had good talks with, with them. Of course, Hakeem didn't listen. I'm like, your daughter just had a gun and you still walking around arrogant. Don't want to listen to nobody. But he had a better conversation with Tiana than he had with his father. Exactly. And like boys. Yeah. So we see old Mr. Quincy is officially out of jail. Mm-hmm. Freaking uh, Andre done succeeded. He comes home, see the Christmas tree up. 
his welcome home, congratulations. So his mama goes and hand him a gift. He was like, mama, it ain't Christmas yet. She said, it's Christmas to me. It's Christmas to me because I'm excited you home. That's my gift. Give him a gift so you can get anything you want, anytime you want. So I just knew he gonna be like, you know what, Ma? That's I right. wanna go to Jamaica, I wanna go to Aruba, or Mexico, I want- yeah, I'm about to go to Miami. Yeah, I'm about ready to turn up. I've been in the jail. Nah, he wanna go to the beach and eat got no hot dogs. What? Hey, sometimes you gotta hit rock bottom to appreciate a hot dog, man. I guess so, I guess. Man. Man. Well, I was like, I just knew he was gonna say something that was fire. Go to the beach, eat some hot dogs. I was like, okay. Yeah, you been eating ramen noodles for all them days. Hot dogs sell pretty good, yeah. don't they? But um, that wasn't really the highlight of that scene, but the highlight of that scene was the look that was on Andre's face. Andre looked like he was not excited anymore that Quincy was home. And I was like, wait a minute, player. What's happening? You did what you set out to do, but you don't seem like you happy. But of course, Lee Daniels filled that in for us about time. Filled that in for us. We see uh, he was over there talking business with Lucius and Tracy called and he- Terry. Terry, yeah. Terry. know if 35 people go Going to tell me, yeah. <laughs> it don't even matter. Uh, see him uh, freaking ignore her call. He was like, oh, so she ain't important no more? And he was like, you know what, dad? Every person I let in my life, I end up getting them destroyed because of the person that I am. Man, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. And I was like, well, Dawn, Andre, you, you kind of right, kinda though. Of course, yeah, cursed. you kind of right. You know, the last one you had wasn't real, though. But, <laughs> but the other two were real, and no jokers turned up dead. I mean, your your real wife, she got you know, they kind, they kind of want your fault, because that was Nika's doing, but yeah. Every, yeah, Has whatever you, whatever you touch ends up turning into a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I like them. I don't want that kind of life for them. And Lulu went on his little skit. Yeah. Colorful Lulu. He was like, son. Dwight. 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 That's who it was. He was like, son, you <clears throat> have been fighting your demons for forever. And you pretty much, you succeed. You really do handle yourself well. Yeah. I think you deserve everything that life is going to offer you. So if Terry is what you want, I think you should give it a chance. And I said, okay, oh, Lulu. Okay, okay. yeah. I, I mean, that, that that's the white All right. talking right there. So we see later on that um, he ended up going to the beach because back at, at the house, she invited him to come to the beach. And he was like, you know, mm -hmm. that's for y'all. You know, you go ahead and enjoy yourself. I got some business to take care of. So he ended up showing her the beach. But when he got there, he told her, he said, you know, I want to be in your life, but if you want to be in my life, are you willing to take the risk? Because I'm a dangerous man. Because I'm a dangerous man. And she ended up kissing him, but I was like, wait, 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 wait. Ask him what are the risks. Ask him what do yeah. you mean. You don't sign no contract until you find out the downside of the deal first. Uh-huh, because you don't know. You're going to have to calibrate some meds sometimes. You're going to have to sing in an elevator sometimes. Exactly. And then... And Chris, it, Chris, it don't do y'all fooling around. Y'all yeah. just kissing it all like uh, yep. Mike B. C. All willy so, nilly. So he might not even accept you in the family. He might get pissed off because you know how boys is with their parent, with their mom. I'll send him right back to jail. To yeah. you. <laughs> I got you out. Say, say mama needs some love too. Yeah. We say, say that until it's our mama. So you be like, I've been dicking down your mama ever since you been in the pen. Yeah, it sounds different. <laughs> since I've been out. Yeah, that's, that, that'll get you killed though. Yeah, that'll uh, get you killed. So we see our boy Kai done succeeded. He did the research, found out everything he needed to find out on Kingsley, and he did a report. And not only was it the feds, but he had a list of a whole lot of, I can't remember the whole list there, but I was about six or seven names. And I seen millions of dollars that they was paying for these users' information. Facebook. Yeah, so this is crazy. So of course Kingsley sees it, Lucius them see it, they excited. Like, Kingsley is pissed off. Cause at this point he trying to figure out how in the hell did y'all find that out. And then we see Kelly Patel show up. Pissed yeah. off. Trying to pissed. do damage control. And pissed I said, off. they about to pin this on somebody. Yeah. Like Daddy said, they about to pin this diamond heist on me. And of course, the girl that Giselle is, the opportunist, she's like, I'm going to blackmail this sucker to get back what's mine. So she told him, saying, hey, I, I can go and leak and let them know that, that you know, you Lucius' uh, little son, he was like, no, elder son. And, or 
You get help. Let me let me run um Empire. He was like, okay, this is what we can do. I'll make okay. you my co CEO, but I plan to hold out of minds around this company, and you're gonna be the one that's gonna gonna step on them for me. I was like, hey, go. Uh, like Giselle, are you that dumb? Did you just catch that? What he's gonna do? He's about to set up like y'all up. Yeah. So y'all seen the episode? She hit him, pin the bush, get on back it. Talking about there was some email traces of her talking about all this information and her working with Lucius. I said, okay, so now we now we're making up emails and all this bullshit. Yeah, you gotta do all that. But you see them jokers trying to get back out there though. With them white church <laughs> shoes on. Feet like this. I said, why they put them white shoes on Becky like that? But see, this, if this was the real world, they would never got Becky out that door. Never. Because, you know, she let them do that, you know, for the show. Mm -hmm. But in real life, I think she would have picked up both of them jokers. Oh, just yeah. body slam them two jokers. Becky would have been like, do you want these hands? Yeah. Do you want these hands? Especially if she had some of them got them weed on. Them got edibles. Them, the edibles she was eating. Man. Nah, they would have they would have beat her on them edibles. You think Cause so? Because you'd be too relaxed. <laughs> so... Hey, go thirsty to the rescue. Let Lucius know what happened up over there. Saying, Lucius, bro, we need to talk. Right now. Right now. Because we see that Lucius them is trying to get gear for this guy doing showcase. Because they're going to have some top dollar. Like Apple and they name off a few other people that's going to be there. That's looking to invest in this company. So Cookie was telling all the cast, well, the artists, that hey, y'all need to get y'all skipped together. It's do or die. Yeah, it's do or die. This your career depends on this. This is the defining moment. I told T um, Tisha Campbell, you can get the rest of your hair <clears throat> to match the other side of your hair <laughs> if you do right by it. I said, why does she have two different types of crochet braids in her hair? Oh, that's the Tisha Van Tisha, man. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what she just been. So during that, Lucia was like, I only got two hours. Thursday was like, I don't care, bro. We need to talk. This is what happened. She let him know about Becky being kicked out. And he was like, you realize that he ain't he ain't after Becky. He ain't pretty much he after you. Mm -hmm. And Lucia was like, wait, 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 wait. I ain't never dropped a dime on nobody in my whole life. And he stormed out. And I was like, what in the hell is he going? And mm -hmm. I should have I figured it out. Yeah. He goes to pay Kingsley a visit. The very thing that freaking Cookie told him not to do. She been telling to leave. He's like, you need alone. to stay focused. We got something. We got. We got uh, something going on. We got something big going. It's a lot of money on the table. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Especially after Wilson got put out in the news. Mm -hmm. He's done. It's no need to mess with. Him. She said, matter of fact, when it was in the bed, don't even mention his name around me. <laughs> <laughs> they made up real quick, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. But kids can do that to you, though. Mm -hmm. Your crises. So he goes over to Empire and walks in there and beats the brakes off of Kingsley. And Giselle ended up telling him, wait, stop. You got to stop, stop, stop. That's, That's your stop. son. Lucia was, Lucia was like, uh-oh. Uh, uh, my, my what? My son? That's so weird. For real? Like, what? And Lula looking at it, I said, oh, he about to have a flashback. Yeah. So maybe this is real. This is real. Uh-oh, it's real. <laughs> uh-oh. Yep. It's real. So he goes over to the hospital and pays her a visit. And I was a little confused because every time Kingsley went, she, she was out. out. But when Lucy showed up, all of a sudden, she got risen from the coma. And she can talk. She said, I knew you would come back for me. And he was like, uh, come back for you. You know, we had a, a few things back in the day, but. He was uh, a smash. White Tracy? Yeah, yeah. And she was like, look at him, look at him. Look at his eyes. You can get a DNA test if you want. And then we Tell saw me he ain't yours. Flash. Then we saw another flash. When he went over, when she took him over to the house, y'all saw her to meet him. And but she didn't try to tell him. She was like, I. So I was like, I don't know why she was pissed off. Cause that would have been the first thing I would have said. Cause he, he didn't know. Yeah, because she, he thought she was over there to get, get, a, get, a, get a, some drugs. Some drugs. So he was like, you know, well, I don't do this around here. Bunker is down the street, three block. Here's <laughs> this 20 tell Bunker take yeah, care of you. Just like old time. So at that point, you should have said, ho, ho, this is your son. You should have interrupted. You should have yeah. been abrasive. But you was too passive in the moment. And now you got your son pissed off because you was passive in the moment and didn't tell him that it was his dad. Yeah. Well, tell Lucius that that's his son. So I, I partly blame her a little bit, though. Well, I blame her all the way. Yeah. 
And so now this boy is freaking in the streets being a terrorist to his daddy <laughs> that he yeah. thought to them thought to abandon him. But he didn't even know. That he didn't even know. Now I don't know if Lucius would have stepped up to the plate or not, you know, because I mean, freak, he threw Jamal in the trash can, so I don't, I don't know what he would did with Kingsley. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I had almost forgot about the trash can. Yep, threw him right in the trash can because he wanted to walk around with his mama's shoes on. But ain't, it, ain't that such a, a crazy turnaround now? It's like how he embraced Jamal now. And his life. Yeah, and his life. And his fiance. Yep. But let's talk about <clears throat> Kai while we on the... um. Oh, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to hit back on, get, get back on Kai. Yeah, going down that road. Okay. Jamal told Kai, don't buck around with my family. Told him in the beginning. Said, listen, you don't have to prove skip to my dad. He already like you. I love you. You do your job somewhere else. Leave don't well enough alone. In the lying business. Now that he done run the story, he finding out information that's coming in from other sources about Lucius the man and yeah. how he don't covered up the skit of his artist for all these years basically make a skit disappear because their money is my money exactly I'm not even mad at that that's what you do in that's business you do. yeah you protect your own interest that's right now <clears throat> Kai he wants to be this this moral giant yeah. this moral king yeah because he got a tattoo on him, you know. so he's telling Jamal listen I don't do well with secrets Secrets almost um kill me. Half truths almost kill me. This ain't what we about to do. I have offers on the table for a permanent slot over in London. I don't really know what I want to do. I really want to run this information about your daddy. I said, do you want to end up dead next? Yeah, yeah. Cause you don't know who you're fooling with. And it then told Jamal, um, I need a break. He was like, what? What the hell does that mean? Said, I, you said, serious right I said, now. we were just talking about this a few episodes. Every time that Jamal fall in love, something happens. something happens to get his heart broken. Then I was like, wait a minute. Is Kai working with Miss Dubai? Miss Dubai? Yeah. Dubai? To get Miss Dubois. Dubois to get That was our customer's name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Because <laughs> I was like, why did that name sound familiar? To get all this information, to dig all this dirt up on Lucius to run the story, but he had to get it through Jamal. To get close. So I don't know. It's a little. Y'all uh -uh. said y'all didn't trust Kai. I was trying to get Kai a bit fit. I, I, I started. I had, I had one eye open and one eye closed on him. But I was hopeful because he deserved love, man. Yeah, yeah. Talking about um, Jamal. Yeah, he do, man. It's like people just come in and take advantage of his heart, man. Yeah. That's, I, God darn it. God darn it. But at the same time, <clears throat> never mind. I ain't even going to do it. <laughs> So we see them over at the showcase. The showcase is going on. Everything is fire. They coming through. Mm -hmm. We saw. It was we saw it was real good. We saw the episode that uh, Hakeem went over to the pool hall, made up with Blake. But you see how them people were standing around like it's about goddamn time. And they had that sad music playing. It's like okay. I said, do y'all need a room? <laughs> but I had no idea that that was gonna morph into him. A uh, high key and Tiana performing at the showcase. I said, but did anybody else know they was yeah. gonna be there? Cause, cause, Cause I was like, did y'all do that behind Lucius them back? Cause Cookie about to kick some high. But it was fire though. It was good. It they was worked fire. good together. Yeah, always. it was fire. So in the background, Lucius come back and Cookie is pissed off. What the hell you done been? The showcase was it's almost over and you've been gone. He trying to tell her. Listen. He was like, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. And she was like, I'll talk to you at the house. No, yeah. I need to talk to you now. Look, if we haven't learned anything else, when someone says, I need to talk to you na -na now. Yeah, you need to listen. Because you need to listen. Yeah. Put because your, that means. Put your feelings to the side. <laughs> they're trying to get ahead of something that's going to come out mm -hmm. publicly in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bam. And which they, was time for them going, uh, uh, Porsche came and said, it's time for y'all to go on. And because he was getting ready to tell her again about what was going on because Cookie told him that, hey, we're going to seal a deal. We're getting like, what, 40 million, 30 million. And I sold this car. And I sold the car. Oh, <coughs> I said, Cookie, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, you all and, right? Yeah. I said, Cookie, Cookie, Cookie. No. I no. said, where was no. this condo at? Yeah, for 5 million. That's, yeah. For, for uh, 2,000 square, square feet? feet? I 
can't even do the math on how much that costs per square feet. That, that that's probably about ten thousand. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but but anyway, yeah, somebody gonna do that math. Yeah, but it don't even matter. So they go out there, they give their little speech to all the family to come on out, and I was like, you know what? Something ain't gonna go right because we saw G um, Giselle came in there when they was in the audience and said, hey, there's an opportunity for you to get Empire back, but I'm gonna have to be the co-CEO. I you let me know what you want there. I said, okay, just uh, So she was out in the audience. So they started talking. I was like, you know what? It's about to I down. think Kingsley is about ready to show up, but I don't know how he's going to show up because this is not his freaking show. I thought he was going to walk right out behind them boys. <laughs> and why that song be, you know, came up on the mic. Bloody. I was like, first of all, who in the hell gave him a mic? <laughs> and why? Bloody. Yeah. He talking about some. Y'all need some new security. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Bishop needs some more on the parents. You need some On Greenleaf, you need some new security. Well, they can't pay nobody, so that's why they ain't have them. God, oh my God. So, he goes to proceed to say, you want them to t want me to tell them, or do you want them to tell them the news? Dad. Dad. And everybody, <gasps> Andre was like, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I don't, I but like, the thing about Andre, though, it makes no difference what comes out about Lucius. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> Andre, stay already. He stay already, yup. Yeah. <laughs> so, he goes to tell everybody what happened that Lucius met his mom. Had the $20 bill. Had the $20 bill. Said he abandoned us. Then after you left us, my mama got back on drugs. And then I found her at the hospital. On the floor. On the floor. I was like, Lucius, how did you end up? How, how did how did that go? Did he do how, something to that woman up in the Yeah, how did that work? Unless he was lying because it, the, his now mom was like she out. had enough strength to even take a swing at Lucius. So I I, I don't yeah, I don't know if I mm. if I fully believe that or not. I believe it, but I think it's some kind of twist to that Lucius. Yeah, thing. maybe she might have filled out the bed trying to get to him and try to choke him or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But she was on the flow. Uh, so the rest of the boys was like, this can't be true. Cookie was like, this can't be true. They stole him Tell me it ain't true. So Andre was like, you know what? Fuck all this kid. He come off the stage. I'm going to kill him. And he said, I'm going to get you. He said, if I don't get you first, baby boy. Baby he, boy. Said, he said, I'm going to end you. I said, okay. I said, so. Now, Kingsley, you know. Both touch boys. Yeah. Don't face off. Then, we come to the end of the episode. And we see somebody being, three months later, see somebody being rushed to the hospital. I said, okay, we get ready to find out who is in the casket. Who died. No. We see it's got no Andre. Look like he on life support. No, he flatlined. Yeah, he flatlined, but you know them jokers can bring you back. So I don't yeah. even... I'm even, not convinced. Yeah, I'm not even convinced. Lee Daniels is not Courtney Kim. Yeah. Courtney gives away... She can't keep her own secret. Yeah, she go on social media and tell everybody. So, Lee, that ain't Lee Daniels style. So, I think <clears throat> Andre gonna be alright. It's somebody else. Because he wouldn't put it out there like that. And then we come back into it knowing that Andre is at a casket. I don't think it's Andre. He might, we might not come back if we found out he was in the, in the cast. Yeah, they're not going to kill my Andre off. Yeah. Because that's they, the reason they, I said They can't kill Andre off. They can't kill... Um, they can't kill Becky. They can't or, kill Cookie. Cookie, nah. Or Portia. Or Lucius either. Nah, they can't do They can't do that. I Hakeem mean, but they can, but they can do Hakeem. They can do Blake. Jamal can go. They can do Blake. Um, Yeah, they can do Jamal. Hell, you better not even touch Juanita. And please... Don't touch Take Thursday. Kingsley. Yeah, yeah keep Thursday. Yeah. So it's I think it's I think it's Kingsley or Kingsley's mama or Mama Lucius. Yeah. We'll see. I still don't think that is Andre. We'll find out in spring. So y'all write down below who y'all think <clears throat> it is and why. Yup. And again, thank y'all for rocking with us the first half of this season. And like uh, my baby said, if y'all want to continue to see us, come on over there to Life With Us TV while we doing Vlogmas. Drop a comment. Let us know you're there. Let us know you came from over here. Make sure, don't just watch. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. And hit your bell over there so you can get the notification when the videos come out. And also hit your bell on here because we may even pick up a show 
And that way, if we come yeah. through, you'll get the notification. And so exactly. that'll always keep you in the know. And y'all know us, we only upload when we're going to do a video. So, e. I mean, that sounds stupid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we only post something when it's a review. So we don't just post just anything to, just to keep the channel going. When you hear that little bell go off, we sitting right here. Uh, and if you decide that you don't want to go over there and watch that's the channel and see us until that's we come I back, do. that's cool. But you have yourself a Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New, New year. year. And again, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. But we getting ready to be out this piece. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty. Oh, I do need to say this. Because people have been hitting me up asking me for our P.O. box because they want to send us Christmas cards. It has always been down in the description field. Yeah. We don't require it. We don't ever say anything about it. But if that's you, <clears throat> it's always there. Yeah, going on down there, going. right down there fighting. And if you don't, we still love you the same. Either way. Because we do this for free. All right, we fit to get out of here. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.